Hi there, I'm John, aka Graffiti, and I'm a 3D environment artist in the games industry. This video series shows my approach to environment art creation with the ArtStation Challenge brief Beyond Human. Each video is a live stream capture and doesn't contain any music. I suggest putting some on, increasing the speed of the videos and playing them in the background while doing some of your own work. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see me create environment art live, please tune into my Twitch channel. You can also follow me on social media. Enjoy! Okay, so where do we get to? I need to, I need to pin that down. Uh, here we go, beyond human objects, block out. Boom, okay, so this is where we got to at the end of Tuesday. And then since then, I need something a bit more. I need something more. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. That's better. Yeah, so this is where we got to on Tuesday with a block out. Uh, so matching on the camera, um, just getting some props in, that kind of thing. Uh, don't need that open. Do need this open? And then last night I was in Unreal doing a lot of material. Um, God, the stream is. What's going on? Uh, let's refresh that. Um, did a lot of testing this uh, mass material and I had to hit into. Ran into some problems last night, which was really annoying, but I think I got around them by doing it another way. Um, so hopefully, maybe we could get onto some of that later on. We'll see. Um, how am I looking for? Modo. Beyond Human. Uh, da -da, asset, asset list. Brill, uh, we'll get this open. Right, Ace. Let's get this over here. For some reason, the video is not being displayed. In fact, the whole page is ground to a halt. Well, hopefully, it'll come on in a minute. But let's basically today. I just want to carry on with the block out modeling, get the scale work in, that kind of thing. Um, just because if I can get all that done today, I can, it'll put me in a really good position next week to just get in, split the scene up into different assets and then move it all into Unreal and get some, get some materials on it. Um, and have a go at the, the lighting as well. So yeah, so that's what where I'm at. Uh, I need set up, uh, and I need an old scene actually. Uh, so the previous scene I was working on. Uh, da -da -da. Now which one was it? Rocks, mountain, foliage. I think it was one of the years. Let's have a look. And this is just to get my scale. Dude, there he is. Copy him, paste him in here. Close that, and then I have got a scale ref. Now I did modify the scale ref to be more like the one in the same height as the one in UE4. Uh, set up scale ref. Yeah, I'm just load all that. Paste. Yeah, so the smaller one is the height of the, the runaround dude in third person. Um, oh, it's all random, isn't it? Don't want that. Um, yeah, so we don't want the tall guy, we want the short guy. 
and then let's try and match him to these other people in the scene. Dun, 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 dun. Oops, no, that's not the right one. Eighty, no, hmm, three, E, one eighty, there we go. Cool, that looks about right. Paste. Okay, paste. So we want to go down here. Let's turn all this off. Okay. So chances are, yeah. So, ooh. Also, everything is massive compared to this guy. Look at that doorway. Right. Need to sort this out. So we need to get a banking machine, and then we can match the rest from there. So, banking machine looks like this isn't working. This is totally frozen. Just close it and go back to it. Slightly higher than the average. Okay, so it's coming through, that's good. Dashboard. So the stream's working, that's good. Right, and it's, hmm, it's not that, not that wide.
I would say they're slightly thinner. something like that for the moment. So machine. Right, it's sort of annoying that it's not all on world space zero, so first of all I'm just gonna sort that out. in here anymore but we can get a feel a feel for it so let's actually duplicate this and unlock it and what do I put no that's not it so There we go. Okay. Play that image. Same height. Mm-hmm. 
No way, the, the guy himself is following me. Oh, Helio, if you're watching, thanks, appreciate it. Hope I do your uh, concept justice. Really do. So basically I'm matching up, so I took something which was a similar scale to a human scale, so these bang machines, matched it up first, so it's kind of similar, sorry, I've got the image here, so you can see it's the similar height to the guy, I mean it could be that it's slightly taller, but not not too much off and then what I did was I took something else in the world so this thing and then just match that so just to match that to the height of this just get a better uh, you can see actually in, in this orthographic here they're, they're the kind of the same same height and then what I did was well I thought right well there's some concrete here and some concrete here like a trim and that trim is about double one of these in height above so I've moved one on top of the other and placed place that then I thought right well I want to do the size of this building because you can see there's a bit of an alleyway here so one way I can do that is by getting making a dumpster based on the size of these two and then I know it's two of them plus another access point and then it's the end of the building. So that's what I'm currently doing. And then hopefully we can kind of get this building blocked out with some windows and stuff, have a look at the scale, see what it looks like, and then roll that onto the other buildings. And hopefully we can get it as some, uh, a decent amount of, uh, yeah, the scale working and like a, a, you know, a large, well, I suppose hero area of the, of the uh, shot done in block out. Right, so yeah, we're gonna continue. Uh, dumpster, dumpster. Okay, so compared to, so it comes up to, just under the head of this. It's probably got some, some sort of wheel, I'm sure. And how wide is it? Maybe two of them? Maybe the size of two, two of the bank machines? I'd say, yeah, so maybe a bit longer. something like that. Ooh. Oh, 
little skew with there. Bring the back out a bit. And then just do a round corner on this. Not too great. Maybe something like that. rigid so maybe eight and some detail underneath as well so we need to grab this copy and paste it probably overhangs some kind of bridge within bin though if it is the same height. I suppose it could be raised. I think I might make it shorter. Just because it's <laughs> Yeah you could put a whole human in there. And I think it definitely yeah it definitely needs to come down. Right so now
Some reason my chat isn't working, so if anyone's in there, I can't actually see. Uh, which ah, there we go. Someone in? Zil Mitchell's, hey, how's it going? Yeah, good, thanks. Zil Matix? Matix? Is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, so just getting the, um, working on the scale. Um, so this is what I got on Tuesday, matched to um, the camera, which is here. Uh, I've actually shut the, right, the, the window, but yeah. Um, so now I'm just working out the um, scale um, to the image a bit better. So what I did was I, I made one of these, the bank machines, then I made this, well I ha already had this so I just matched it 
and then I put in this trim up here based on two of these on top of each other and now I'm just working out the size the length of this building by making a dumpster because I know it's one two dumpsters and then a network machine and that's the end of the building so my my plan is to try and block out as much as the scene as possible tonight but start in this hero area uh, are you in the competition yourself um, Which one are you doing, that kind of thing? Is it your first challenge? I'm gonna have to move this down to that. Get the chat room up here. Oh, I hope it. Okay, I've just moved the, the chat to a window, so if you could write again, that'd be great. I can see if it's actually working because this stream's been a bit patchy so far. Um, So I'm probably putting in quite a lot of unnecessary detail, but the more I can kind of get in now, it almost reminds me in the future. So in case I miss any, any detail. There you go. Not in the challenge yet, working on slicing. Cool. Yeah, great. There's one really good stylized one by Grace Lou. Um, I really wanted to do that, but it's it's um, a little too far out of my stylistic range at the moment. Plus, I haven't got anything like ultra sci-fi. Well, this isn't even ultra sci-fi, but sci-fi I'm realistic in my portfolio. That's why I'm doing this one. Are you a, uh, um, I don't know, uh, are you in the games industry yourself? Uh, or are you a hobbyist? Or what brings you to, uh, to the 3D world? ourselves an open bin and I've just realized that this bit needs to come down at the front <laughs> so maybe something like that a bit more of an obvious slope. Cool. And even then it's probably well I might leave it. I think it's a bit flatter though. It's more like that. 
Looking to break into games, getting lots of help on the PC. Yes, it's a great hangout. I, I definitely, yeah, you're in there already. Excellent. Um, I need to, you know, contribute more in there to be, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, it's a great, like an amazing place for, you know, artists and, and well, whoever really looking, looking in, um, yeah, can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, in fact, quite a few of the, the, the Empire were in here on Tuesday, uh, showing support, which was great. Um, yeah. So have you, have you, are you, are you studying? Are you at the end of the university? Um, what's the crack? Now I'm not going to do wheels on these because you don't see them. And I just need to get them, piece them in. Uh, right, so how far? This is just around the corner. And then this one is here. But let's punch it back a bit. Cool. And let's bring them both up like they're on some sort of probably fake the height of them a little bit. Cool. Now, at the moment, it would seem that this building is actually smaller than I thought it was. Uh, <laughs> so, we could run into some problems. But I suppose we'll see what it looks like with the camera in, the, in Unreal. Because it's got to work in a player's perspective as well. So, well, let's grab this. Because at the moment it looks like these are now all tiny and the buildings are freaking huge and that walkway is totally out of whack. Uh, so let's say these are in front of some more pipes and we'll nudge this along because there's a bit of a gap. And there is something poking out next to the bin, so yeah, we'll move that along. And that would be the edge of the building. And let's just save this as a different version, in case we need to go back. Hey, hello. Oh, well, I saw a stream from the other day. The burnt car has its back towards the camera. Yeah, I thought as much. Hi, Helio. Great concept of art. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. I just hope that I can, you know, make this as good as your drawing, as your painting. Um, yeah, the burnout car has its back towards you. Yeah, I thought as much. Um, by the kind of where these were, like the perspective of it almost was made it look longer. Plus, I think you could, yeah, that you can make out the, you know, the bent bit of the boot, which is cool. Um, yeah, so actually, I think that'll be quite, quite easy to do. Um, in fact, I'll probably do that shortly. Um, yeah, you're making a great job. Wow. <laughs> We'll see about that, it's early stages. But hopefully, if I can get a lot of the block out done tonight, or make things easier next week, because I'm not gonna have a lot of time this weekend to, to finish it off, to finish any block in, so it might be a late one, but we'll see. So the corner is like, so it finishes basically here. And then this building. Have you um, been on any other anyone else's stream so far? Um, what's any, any of that? And what did I finished school, but I felt I wasn't there where I need to be school wise, so just doing a lot of self study. Hey, yeah, um, hats off to you, um, um, Zil Matisse. M M Z oh man, Il Matt, Zil, Zil Matt. Oh, I can't say it. 
give you another hint for that building. Oh, <laughs> I, you know, actually, Helio, I was thinking of um, uh, emailing you or messaging you on ArtStation further on, further, uh, further down the road, if I had any issues, um, just because if you can contact the pe person that made it, then they're gonna they are in the best position to give you the most the best feedback. I would have thought. There's quite a bit of space between the bin and the network. Ah, okay. Well, that would help quite a lot, actually, because we're going to end up with it all a bit too bunched up, I think. Quite a bit of space. Well, let's do something like that. it look like they're right next to each other um, what kind of what field of view are you using there's actually pipes running between them some pipes running ah okay some yeah brill okay I will in fact looking at the image you can kind of see there's a puddle here between the two so yeah, um, oh, you've done it in Modo as well, kudos, it's the best. And yeah, Zilmat, it's, um, yeah, like, not being where you want to do want to be is, is fine as long as you know putting in everything effort uh, every effort to get to where you want to be um yeah like go for it you got this Check focal length is. Let me just write this down. Focal length is 20 mils. Uh, angle. Yes, I'm a motor confidence 
There are link lousy model and to answer your previous question, I haven't seen any of the strain other than yours so far. I'll be checking surgeries tomorrow and feel free to message me on art station if you have any questions. Brill, I will. Um, I, I won't um, spam you, hopefully, with questions, but that, that camera stuff is um, is important, or will be useful. Um, yeah, yeah, it would be, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Sergey's stuff look pretty, looks pretty cool. I, I suggested that, um, I don't know what he's doing with the cars yet, he's modeling each of them, but I thought if you had like a, uh, you know when you have a, an overexposed shot in a city and you just see the headlights and the brake lights, I thought that be quite, might be quite cool um, to save them, save them modeling all the cars. Um, but I've told him it on this, I've replied on the thread. But yeah, I'm interested to see what people come up with with that other scene. I think for me, because this one's, you know, a closed street, um, it was going to be slightly less up to my imagination and more following the picture, which would say, which would save me quite a lot of time. Um, instead of trying to find everything myself or, or think of everything myself. And I have a feeling that actually these bins could be pushed down a bit further. I see what you mean. I'll give you another hint. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm streaming now and getting all these hints. <laughs> now, I've, I've been streaming for about six months um, as in a, in a uh, bid to encourage myself to work on personal stuff. The way on the left foreground is actually a stair. Well, as in, so, so the walkway on the left foreground is actually a stair. Oh, a stair into a basement. Is that what you're saying? So it's, there's a hole in the ground. Just grab these. So it's actually So it's actually a bit like this. got a ramp when those are steps not really let me s s get you my reference uh yeah yeah um i thought there would be steps um yeah yeah I i've only got a ramp in because um i just want to wanted a an approximation um yeah but i kind of assumed that if if this if these were metal steps up here that you've got on the building then you, I would have thought everything else would be um, in the same kind of um, same kind of way. Right, so I have to get to a corner.
Yep. Let's have a look. Brill. Yeah, nice. Use for that general build in front. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, it's such a simple thing, but I, you get so much from it. Like all this. Um, you know, the detail in here. Um, oh, you can't, sorry, the detail in here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I need to, uh, once I start modeling properly, I'll um, really crank up the, uh, well, I'll get some decent, decent reference going on. Probably badge you some more, that kind of thing. So this corner pipe is just above the trim. It's here, somewhere around here. It's out of the wall and it's out over here. In fact, it goes right, which I need to bring in from this side. Oop. Looks like it comes over this thing. Cool. Um, yeah, Brill. How does it feel having I got all day to all to install icons for slot machines both of the day anyway? <laughs> and you should go to games, I'm sure they'll love people like you. I mean, you botch this out in no time at all, and it looks great. I mean, look how many people are are actually uh, making it uh, in 3D. It's great, love it. And your thread on how you made it all was um, really cool to um, to read through. Rejected a bunch of that. Jesus. <laughs> like I'm in the games industry at the moment, but it's 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 ridiculous how how hard it is to uh, you know get in in the first place. I know I struggled. I ended up having to do um, you know unpaid work, but in the end, it actually led to, led to my first job. And even then, that was in film, not games. I'm only getting back on the horse after a little long hiatus. Well, you're, you've, you've obviously you've got talent, you've got skill. I don't think you need me to tell you that. Um, and you can make stuff work. Great. I'm gonna shut my window because it's getting a little chilly. So whereabouts in the world are you? Uh, the trim sticks out a lot. Uh, the 
be this is in front of the bank machine. Okay. So this is here. These are thinner than I think. Is that block going? Uh, hi, Abel. How you doing? Um, oh, and Luhizi, Luhizi, is now following me. Thank you. Um, uh, yes, it's going okay. Uh, Helio here, who's who actually the concept belongs to, has been helping me out uh, with some hints, which has been lovely. Um, Hands me on the portfolio at the. Oh, the unicorn thing last year, so I just put my head down and started doing my ass off. Let's hope this year I can actually get something. Yeah, definitely, Helio. If you're kicking off stuff like what you've been doing for this competition, and also the competition stuff gives you exposure as well. Um, yeah, so, Brill. Um, and you're in Lisbon. Great. It's a fantastic... I mean, obviously you know this, but I went a couple of weeks ago to Lisbon, and it was amazing. Best city in Europe, I think. Um, I, kind of, I thought, you know, Berlin was pretty good, but um, Lisbon, I thought, was a fantastic city. Loads, loads going on, everything's within, you know, walking distance, a bit like Sheffield in the UK. Um, yeah, love it. Went to uh, Sintra, uh, <laughs> walked up from the station to the palace. Uh, <laughs> that was a good day, that was fun. Tiring, but fun. <laughs> I think these are going to be... This is going to be wider. And then let's move these along a bit. Because if I was planning, I would put them... That's well in the center of this bit where you would have your sign. Don't even have a car here, almost died, I bet. No, no, it was, um... oh yeah, after the, <laughs> after the hill. Yeah, uh, it was all right, apart from um, the, uh, you know, cause it's one way you, uh, it's all the taxis and the tuk-tuks and the coaches coming down and sometimes there's not enough, uh, you know, not, not enough space to stand. Uh, so that was interesting, but yeah, um, really glad I, that we, because um, I went with my girlfriend, we, um, we managed it all the way up and all the way back down again just by walking just like yeah come on we can do this 
you'd want this high enough so that people would see what it says. Something like that. And then, right, so on this bit, it looks like it's a cutaway. So, copy this. Actually, we don't need to copy it, we can just put a thing through it. Um, it barely goes, oh, Brill. Yeah, it's just so convenient, like everything. Um, well, we, we stayed near the, uh, oh man. There's some construction happening to the, like you go to the beach from the, so from the city, uh, it's on the blue line, that's where we stayed. And it was near like a museum for, might have been near the Fado Museum, I think. The Fado Museum, that's where we were staying. Um, on like one of those alcovey streets. Um, it was awesome. Um, yeah, Albel, have you ever been to Portugal? Uh, I recommend it. <laughs> Great city. <laughs> Uh, right, so this gets cut in here, uh, but not after, so we need to put a link here. Cool, and then this whole area is. That's the general area. Did you have a train station? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, pretty nearby. It's like five, ten minutes walk from where we were, but we literally just walked into town because um, it was like twenty minutes. In fact, where we were, we could get to. You could go up to the cathedral, and then there was like the flea market, and then the castle is up there as well. Um, and tram, oh, 22 is it? Or 32? But then, yeah, you could just walk down into the city centre, it's great. Um, fantastic. Uh, right, what am I doing? So, this is a little alcove, and that's where, is it in a little gap? It looks like it. Uh, so in here, we need to extrude inwards. Get that there. And this is like a third of the way up. Something like that, I think. And let's just get rid of the side. And mirror it. And then in this bit, we just need to uh, cut through. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Just over the edge. And this is the aircon unit. Get some piping under there. Yeah, something like that. Sticks out quite far. Sticks out more than the trim does. So we can bring the trim back in. Getting there, getting there. I know all that time. I was one of those took for about two years before I actually started to make money with that. Oh my god, that's incredible. <laughs> it seems like any anyone can uh, anyone can be a tuk tuk driver over there. Did you have you know a, a lavish tuk tuk? Did you have was it, did you paint it yourself or you know in all the artwork or uh, was it just you know red or yellow? <laughs> this is here. slightly thicker because you've got a pipe coming out of it and that's just off that. and I think this yeah this is out slightly this needs to come up is above the sign. Something like that. Is, uh, as the paint scheme for quite some time. By some time, it was a whole month before I got fired. <laughs> so the best tourists. 
<laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of pestering of tourists. <laughs> That's great. What's this? Oh, that's this, whatever this top is. Which I guess is start the windows. Which sits neatly on top, actually. This could be some kind of addition to the building. There's like a... Uh, so let's grab this. Size of an aircon unit. Maybe something like that. Yeah, so I'm probably going a bit too detailed with the block out, but at the same time, it's good to have all this detail in from the beginning so that you know where to pick up from, what to start on, what to reference um, from the outset. Well, I think, anyway, um, I mean, chances are I'm not going to finish this block out tonight, but that's because I'm spending my time with it, getting it right first time. Um, yeah. Don't know if Abel 3 d is still here. Are you working on anything in particular at the moment, Abel? Um, I guess you're taking a, a break for a bit, Helio. Um, just because you've been smashing this one out. Okay, so this just goes all the way up. And then this one feeds into it. in two places. Cool, so actually that marks where the next walkway would be, which is pretty cool. So yes, so this needs to be, this pattern needs to be a lot thicker. the aircon. Cool. And now I need to watch the top of this. So it could be like a halfway house, I think. A bit further back on that. Further forward on this. Yeah, and it just goes past it. Cute. And then this goes to the center of that. Yeah, so it might be a little bit on the thick side, but at the same time, this one's quite thin, so maybe this one needs to come down in size a bit. Q. 
So that negates that. Uh, now back on Modo concepts and stuff. It's about a month and a half, so I need to speed up the old portfolio. Yeah, fair enough. Um, it's kind of like when you get the um, the thirst or the hunger for it, you just you got to keep going. Um, yeah, definitely. I kind of feel like this bit's too far out. So I might pull this whole section. Right, let's just grab some stuff from here. All that. Yeah, it's not too bad compared to the reference. So is the uh, unicorn um, uh, festival, not festival, you know, conference. Um, I think that's what you're on about. But yeah, is there are there quite a few people there? Is it kind of quite a good um, mix of game developers and uh, artist programmers, um, whoever's industry people I don't really know I've only seen you know their advertisements Twisted one, okay, cool. Looks to be a little thicker than the other one. So, copy, paste, thicken you up a little bit. doesn't completely flat out either. It's more like this. Um, so actually it's mostly visual arts, yeah. It's not so much about game making. You've got people from all over the place. Legends from Disney. We had Sid Wright from Blade, Bloody Hell. Some very heavy hitters come by. Brill. I suppose you're getting, and all of them artists. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I suppose you're getting feedback from, you know, all these legends, icons, the best in the business. So 
if anyone's going to know who they are, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty ace. Well, hopefully, they'll remember you from last year and you can be like, hey, yeah, so it's me and i uh, got some new stuff for you. So this kink is on the corner, but it's the second one in. So I need to bring this down. But it actually might be in front. Ah, oh, it kinks back again. Cool. I want to think it's at a bit of an angle as well, which is pretty awesome. I suppose that's the third pipe. Yeah, I kind of want to say it. it's in front like that. With another similar sized one, and then you've got a thinner one in front of it. So something like that. Companies recruiting. Oh, that's as well. Have you got any business cards? Get some business cards. They're, they're amazing for that kind of thing. Um, yeah, make sure as well. Um, <clears throat> like I don't know what your social media outlets are like, but I would get on Twitter. Um, I don't use Facebook, but I've seen a lot of people use it, so maybe set up a page on Facebook, get an Inst Instagram account for your art. <clears throat> so it's kind of like, um, you do, yeah, Brill. So let me just get a, a tab open. So for me, uh, actually, I might be able to show this a better way. Uh, right, where's OBS? OBS, Brill. So, balls, I don't have any in there. Uh, oh, I don't know where I'll, I put all my business cards. You know where you put them in a secret safe, sacred place, secret place I should say. Um, cool, okay, so for me, let's see if I can do this. I have, so what, this is my business card and there's, it comes in three colors, orange and blue, all saying hello, but then it's got all my I know you probably know this already, but it's like my um, my alias graffiti is on all those other platforms as well, um, or as much as they can be. Um, so, like, if you've got all of that going in, then it's great, obviously, and then you can like link it all together. And it means that you're really findable as well, which is which is excellent. But you seem to have you have all of that already, so um, yeah, cool. You got it. Is that the same size? It's not. Got 
some runes. I just need to do it. Yeah. Do it. Okay, these are closer to the wall. But still away from the trim. And then this is the thin one. Cool. Probably because of the angle of this, it's a bit higher. In fact, it is just a bit higher because it's above the trim. And the base is in line with about halfway up the unit. Something like that. Pull this forward. So it tucks in just behind it. Something like that. Probably shift this over a little bit. So there's more of a gap. Yeah. Peace. Some decent print because last year the ones I used to box the job. <laughs> yeah. Use. Oh, um, if you go here. If you go to uh, moo.com, uh, now I assume they've got uh, like a Portuguese website or something like that, but um, they've got, this is where I got my business cards from, um, but yeah, they were really, really good quality. So if you can get them, then, and also, what was it, they've got a sale on at the moment? I think. Uh, piss. It might have finished, but they had a sale. Um, yeah, so it's so like if the sale's still on, use them. It's like fifteen percent off or something like that. Um, Sorry, yeah. Good. They're good. You know that they're good. I feel like this one needs to be a bit thinner. Just so there's a bit of variation. Right. Now, part of me thinks on this big one, you've got almost a seam. So that's the highlight. It could be just another pipe. It probably is another pipe running along with it. Two other pipes, perhaps. So you've got this one coming down, which was this one. around the back a bit which would make sense because then it would be flush with here so I need to get this on a new layer I also need to save this file and copy paste uh, this way and then this way Cool. 
meant to be only a block. Cool. And then this. in like so. So I think it's something like that. And then we're back. Yeah, cool. Okay, Brill. And then this runs next to the big pipe. In fact, it looks like it can go in a bit. Something like that. All this pipe work is pretty cool. So what what I really love about this image is the silhouettes here. It's like there's loads going on, um, but you get a real feel for the slums because of all this piping that's just been put everywhere. Um, yeah, really lovely glow as well. Love it. Okay, so that's that. wide but it's probably not that wide so now let's wind it up it's probably the same it's probably thicker yeah and then the that Oh, and that stops there, so I'm guessing that that might go into the building. Who knows, we'll just have it, we could have it branching, actually. And this one... Oh, hold on. No. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that's part of the girder. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying if something was a cathedral stained glass windows, like the pipes frame the neon lights. Yeah. Yeah, it looks. Looks brilliant. Looks excellent. And then this just carries on up. Yeah. And then we have. Ooh. Another one like that. Which would make sense with a highlight you have. Is that the same height as well? Yeah. Potentially another thin one in the corner. So your thin one's like that. And this one's a bit further over. Sneaky with your with your pipes bending in and out. You have to really look to see what's going on. I like it though. I mean, already a bit more detail in there just by having a keen eye. Excellent. And they all, they need some sort of connector to the ground. I 
In fact, you said you're on Twitter. Do you want to follow me? And I'll give you a follow back. It'll be good to keep you updated with how this is progressing. that these just tunnel into the ground but it'd be good to uh, get an actual lip on this I do have an account, but it's dead. Area. <laughs> it's a dead area. Then you need to not make it a dead area. <laughs> I mean, I only retweet 3D stuff, really. Or, or I, yeah. It's a presence at the end of the day, more than anything. Sorry, gone hoodie. Back of the neck's getting cold. Making progress, albeit slow progress. Right. Let's get these pipes in. So let's just grab all these. straight down ones with an intersect it's running over the top of them so that's this one So 
goes down and then it continues and then it goes down on the other side of the machine. So something like this. Several people you follow like to post. Right, cool. Lazies, what up? Did you finish the stereo? No, it's on pause at the moment, which I know is bad, and I should stick with the project before uh, and finish it before moving on to the next one. But um, I need. So there was this art station project. I don't. It's a competition. Um, don't know if you've seen it, Lancies, but um, it's it's basically it's going to force me to do more material authoring and um, lighting in Unreal, and that's kind of what I'm, you know, shying away from, especially the lighting in the stairway scene. So once this is out the door, um, so maybe come. At, October, um, I'll, um, well, this will be done and I can carry on with the stairway project um, and hopefully bring a lot more to it um, because this project will help me focus on the stuff that I'm not very good at um, yet. Well, that's the plan anyway. Um, but yeah, hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have this project, the stairway project, and I've got another one lined up afterwards, which would be really cool if I could get done um, and kind of fit into the current climate. Um, something like that. And it's further along, it's past, or at least further down like this. Well, it's on the other side of that walkway thing, so it's probably about halfway. Because there's a gap where all these pipes go up. Which are these pipes here. How are you, Lassies? Have you been up to much recently? Still working away. And these are. I can't remember what you said, Helio. Are the pipes between. No, you said there was a gap between the, mach the network and the thing and the bins, but I think the pipes. Yeah, so actually. Right, so actually I need to pull this corner out a bit more because the pipes run a bit flush with the wall or relatively flush and let's just bring those to the corner Something like that, maybe. 
then this one. Comes a bit further out, which would make sense as well because the wall bracket has got to, it, fit, it fits right in the center of that wall bracket. Which would be about there, yeah. Cool. What projects you're currently working? Taking a break for a while, yeah. We all need a break. Uh, so, what I'm working on is. Loads, oh, challenges, is this one, the Beyond Human Environment Level Art. Uh, so Helio, who's also in the chat, did the concept. Um, oh. In fact, who else is streaming? Oh, that's not one. It's getting late. Ah, two of us. Oh, he's making a nice little car. Brill. Um, yeah. So, so this is my where I'm at to up to. So this is I only started on Tuesday. Um, so this is the concept that Helio made. Which is pretty cool. Um, so I did a very fast just paint over to identify props and stuff. Um, yeah, getting there, quite happy with, with that. So that was my block out from Tuesday doing the camera perspective match. And then tonight I'm just going through and just matching it to the scale of the UE4 character. Um, which is, so the block out that I'm doing is probably more of a detailed block out, but in the long run this will be better for me because um, there's a lot of detail in the scene and I don't want to uh, miss anything on this first go through. Um, I don't want to look at things properly, um, like check the scale works, check it works with all the things around it, that kind of thing. Um, so it's probably going to take me a while to, you know, I mean I was hoping to get this whole block out done by the end of the stream, but I can't see that happening in an hour. But I think this building will be done in the hour, which would be pretty cool. That would be a pretty big thing done as well. What I might just do is put a thing in like that. And yeah, Hilo's been here, which has been fantastic because he's been giving me some nice handy tips and things from his scene, which has been really helpful. Uh, so this goes underneath the walkway, so I need to deal with that. And paste. And then this is the paper wall, which is a lot bigger. So it's probably a bit longer than this, actually. And again, goes up to a similar height, but then it's probably a bit deeper. Like an old, yeah, so almost as though that used to be a sign to make him rough. <laughs> It's a hard one, I love your concert. Yeah, everyone said it's a hard one. <laughs> Doesn't make me uh, feel uh, <laughs> great. 
Um, I suppose it's just lots of detail, but I'm hoping to get away with, you know, modelling a couple of hero in, like props and just tiling the rest of it, tiling as much of the buildings and as the pipes and the metalwork as possible, and just rely on um, beveled edges and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, who knows? We've got, I think, how many weeks have we got? So it started there, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight weeks, so this will be seven weeks after this. So I think it'll be okay. I hope it'll be okay, because I really want to finish this. I want to really do a good job as well. Um, right, so the walkway overhangs the dumpster. So let's grab these Copy, paste let's get rid of them and then let's scale these down so sits on top of the trim and a little bit in from the wall. So the, the corner is something like that. And I think this just needs to come down. Where is it compared to that? Yes, yeah, so I reckon this comes down a little bit. So it's more in line with the trim on the that which would make sense yeah and I can really have to watch him for a of it isn't that great <laughs> yeah but I can what's nice is that even though I'm I've just based all of what I've done so far on the size of that bank machine. I can tell you've used a 3D scene to make this because I'm just eyeballing it, but it seems like just by eyeballing it, everything's aligning, which is um, really great because there's nothing worse than getting a concept art with broken perspective. Um, it just really doesn't help anyone out. I know beggars can't be choosers sometimes, but it really helps having, you know, having done it on a 3D thing, I, I, I'd have said. Uh, right, so. so. These, I just want to maybe just explore this 3D a bit more. So, it's. Something like this, I think. into an end.
Very seen is actually quite simple in terms of us. It's just all the grime on top that makes it more difficult. Yeah, I bet. And matching up all your materials and, and stuff and getting it. Yeah, there's a lot of skill. Like I'd love to be able to do concept art, but don't think that's going to be possible in my lifetime. <laughs> But I, I do love doing 3D stuff. Like my mind just thinks in 3D. Okay, so this is about the same. Yeah, you know, basically on point with this. So actually, it's about there. Cool. Cool, yeah, that's looking all right. Just railings, yep. Yeah. That's got a double bar. So maybe where it connects onto the wall. See this from above, but it'd be good to get it right. Probably extra support, something like that.
Right, so now the reeling was. And then we can get a window going. And that window looks to be. Probably smaller than the network machine. going in there with the pipes it could be good it could be anything I don't know cross that bridge later so a pipe goes down the alleyway and there's one on top and they come out of there somewhere of a, an environment. Right, continue. So it's just, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve, maybe. Spacing so look like down here. Yeah, let's go with that. Up. 
Yeah, the middle one might need space now, but no one's going to know. And once there's a bit of wobble in all of them, you're not going to tell, be able to tell. Uh, and then the top, I think, is cylindrical as well. So we can copy and paste that. Slightly broader. off slightly but that doesn't really matter. slightly off. So Hilo, are you doing uh, work while you're watching this, listening to this? It's probably, uh, well, and got some music on I hope as well, um, like I have, only way to work. Yeah, walkway. 
Although I need to judge the height of that. I guess it's good. Uh, you're doing some sort of abandoned gas stop, blocking in elements in Modo. Brill. Oh, it's Modo is such a great package for just quickly getting stuff up and running. And I suppose you can do a bit of lighting in it as well. And the preview renderer. Awesome. When did you switch over to it? I mean, I've been using it for, you know, maybe five years now, at least five years. If I can, I'll do all my modeling in it, apart from my work, but yeah, so, so good. It's really, I think more and more people are coming around to it now, which is pretty awesome. Right, I want to just get rid of this first one. Actually learned 3ds, but I hated it. I think I've been using it for about two years now. Mm, cool. I've never used 3ds Max, but um, someone who uh, he's not here tonight for the stream, but um, one of the first guys who actually watched um, my stream, he was using Max. But because I was doing Modo, and I, could, I just demoed some things to him that were, you know, a couple of clicks in in here. Um, he was just like, oh my god, amazing, and just switched switched onto Modo and now can't can't go but go back to Max, which is you know pretty awesome. But I've heard Max is like quite clunky and everything a bit like mine is buried in options.
I'm going into a point, they're going into a point. Leo PG, hello, how you doing? Uh, oh, sorry, I've, I haven't been right. Don't get me started. <laughs> it's way too, the only thing I got out of it was the basics of 3D model on which, yeah, same. It's just so fast in Modo, it just, it's like it just does it. And with 11 and the mop boonica, it's pure concept madness. Yeah, I haven't tried the mop stuff. Um, I really want to. Um, friend of mine's got it, so I'm gonna gonna have a look at that. Um, you also did the Infinity Stairs. Uh, yes, I did. Um, so Helio, uh, I'm, I'm still doing it, Leo PG, but I'm, um, I've put it on hold while I do this challenge and hopefully get, explore a bit more in, in Unreal, um, like lighting and stuff, and then I can go back to that and it, I'd apply everything I've learned in this time frame to that and hopefully get a second piece out quite quickly. But uh, if I go to my projects, Modo, so Helio, that what everyone's seen, what everyone's talking about is is this. So it's like this kind of thing. Um, so it's this like um, old abandoned stairway in Hawaii. It's called the Stairway to Heaven. It's only got a couple of, you know, I basically chose it because the, the pictures look quite interesting. Um, but um, it's only got a few assets to model, so you already imported the scene into Unreal. Um, for the stairway, yes. Um, but for this challenge, I'm yet to import anything into Unreal yet. Um, yeah, so it's, it was like a quite a nice little mini project because it was only like variations on this stairway and then I started on the foliage, and in fact, this one here is a a more recent um, foliage pass. Um, so I'm going to come back to it and kind of fill out the mountain a bit more with some better shapes and um, spruce up the foliage so there's a bit more variation and some you know blank patches and stuff. Um, and then change the lighting because it's generally it's quite kind of misty, cloudy, foggy just due to the high altitude of it. Um, 
and it would be cool to do like a, a nighttime and a daytime scene for it. So hopefully, with the um, with the stuff that I pick up from from doing this challenge, it will make that one um, a bit easier to finish off. Okay, so now we've got this thing in. I need to do a cap for it. Every three might be quite cool. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Paste. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I like that. Not bad. 
pretty much. Oh, sorry, there's been so many messages. Uh, I'm also going to start a project. I want to recreate this photo. Not sure about the landscape. I want to do most of it in World Machine, but not so good with it. So not sure if I can recreate the mountains and the street. For the foliage, I'm going to use Megascans Atlases, but we'll create the different grass vegetation. Vegetation is going to be a pain in the ass. Maybe I try out grow effects here. It's pretty good for some of Ah, yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, mega scans will get you most of the way. Quixel mega scans, use them, um, and then you really don't have to worry about getting the PBR right or anything like that. Um, yeah, world machine for your mountains, that's pretty cool. You want to just probably make sure there's a small. There is one here, like a small. Uh, like lip almost in the ground so that the mountain mesh can go in underneath it. Um, yeah, use some mega scan, uh, maybe get a couple of boulders, um, even just take your own perhaps. And yeah, it's just a sectional road. There's a really good, uh, who is it, the tutorial. YouTube and it's the Quixel guy. Quixel this So if you watch this video, you know speed it up, um it's an hour long. Um he does something quite similar to what you're doing in here um, in terms of there's a road and some vegetation at the side and there's a background um, yeah I watched it, it was really good yeah um, yeah and so if you use the Quixel stuff with like that really simple model in you'll be able to get something like this quite quickly um, I would have thought um, I mean vegetation is always a pain but like I haven't used grow effects, but maybe, like, have you ever used speed tree? I've only used it once or twice, but it's a really good um, piece of software for trees. Okay, so. This is slightly low. Oh, actually, let's get. So the idea is that he can put his hand on the railing without falling off, so it probably needs to be a bit higher. Maybe even thin out these a bit. Yeah. So if you're looking at it, maybe not. We'll check it when we look at the reference. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then this thing needs to come down slightly. So I reckon it's like at a halfway point, like so.
The railing's a bit too high. Cool, yeah, let's just lower it. I think it's enough so that you don't go over. <laughs> yeah, three to five centimeters. It's it's more of just a let's wangle it until it looks good. Um, right. So now we need to do the windows. So I thought that this was about the size. It's probably a bit shorter than the network box. So let's do one of them. Sasha Noob, so you'll be pleased to see that I've now started making the scene in 3D, well, making a block out of the scene in 3D. Quite a detailed block out, but this is why I did the paint over, so that as we can, as this gets, um, you know, more and more updated, then, um, you can I can look at the the paint over I didn't see if I've missed anything. Uh, right, so this dude can go to the other side of the balcony, and then you progress so much for so little time. Well, not I don't. Th yes and no. Um, yes, in terms of detail, the block out is a lot more detailed. I've been looking at the concept quite a lot. Um, and just really trying to pick out as much details as I can now. Um, so like for example, um, here in the, there's an archway here. So I've put that in. Um, I've also, you know, aligned the pipes, put a space for the aircon unit. In here, these pipes have got bends in them, this one and this one in here. So I've accounted for that. Um, down this area here, um, I've made it bigger. Uh, apparently there's a gap between them, but it's because of the perspective, you can't really see it. Um, worked out that where the trim is and this the pipe is in relation to the, the um, stairway. Um, and also worked out kind of the scale of these um, hero props versus the scale of a human um, and then just kind of built it all out from there um, so it's more probably it's probably a bit too it's more on the so in terms of block out to high res block out like detail block out it's much it's more on the high res detail um, but I feel like the more I can put in now, the more wary I'm going to be of all the different elements going forward. And if I can try and match up things to where they should be now, then the less back and forth and adjusting I'll have to do in UE4 later on. Um, we'll be not unwrapped, right? Um, no, it won't be, but um, I'll probably use a lot of these assets um, for like my final assets. Um, so for example, all the pipes have got, I think they've got 12 sides. 
which I sort of hoped. Yeah, they got 12 sides. Maybe I should have made them 16 sides. Um, but still, they'll be you know smooth enough with the normals um, to make it work. Um, things like the railings, they're fine. Things like this girder, aside from like a detail pass, I could probably just use that. Um, these hero props will have to be, you know, <coughs> made properly. Um, but again, it's kind of I've got a start for what what they should be. In fact, why I'm here, I might just put some rubbish in the actual bin. That'd be pretty cool. And then Helio, who made the concept, um, is in in the chat as well. So he's been really helpful in just blocking stuff out and getting getting everything right. in there. I mean even that's made and I could probably use well probably can't use these meshes because they're but I could probably use that mesh in there. Um, but yeah, my plan really is to, just to try and, you know, do a good job now so that I don't have to redo it later, um, and which will hopefully save me a lot of time. Uh, so we're doing this window, aren't we? So this window just goes in, there's a sill at the top and probably one at the bottom. Save before I go anywhere. Um, and there is no perspective. Is not that what? It's not that strong. I mean, the trash cans already look really good. Do you have to do everything in the image in three D? Yes, I do. I mean, I could probably get away with doing the background, like the far background, in just two D as a two D still. But there's no point. Well, no, I wouldn't be able to do because. The light wouldn't work in the right way with it. Whereas you put in, it's sticking out the prop. Yeah, it's meant to. Uh, you can see here, you can see a tiny bit of it sticking out the top. And then I've got to put like this bin liner on top. So I'll do that in a bit. Um, yeah, so it's just all the, um, uh, what do you say? Uh, Leon PG, yeah. Thanks for, thanks. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I just try and match things as best I can. Um, at the moment, the bin on the sides. Is it? It could be that when you get far away. No, it's all right. I think it's okay. Um, and these are just railings, because there's some sort of railing in the on the image um yeah helio i'm glad you like it i mean it it's it's getting there and i think just by looking at like your image versus i mean i know the perspective is is different because i'm looking through at mine in the in the viewport versus your image but i think generally speaking i've got the alignment of the pipes and your hidden pipe details as well, um, working quite well. I think uh, the scale's beginning to really pull together. Um, it's going through. I don't know really what you mean. Um, I mean in 3D, this looks this looks fine for me for for now. Um, 
Okay, so I need to do an extrude in of this. And an extrude like this. And then remove all that, get rid of that. And then I need to whoop, cut a hole in here. saying the trash mess is cleaning through the dumpster. Yes, when you select it, you will see on the back a big deal, because he'll eventually have to rework it. It's more focused on getting all the stuff in, go large to small, general to detail. Yeah, I mean, Helio makes a very good point. And um, yeah, th this is just, it's like, I know I'm going into quite a lot of detail with some things, but I'm trying to get, you know, the layout right. So I don't have to tweak that, but for things like this dumpster, yes, it looks probably quite high res, but again, I wanted to get in the large shapes on it and get get it working. Um, oh, so oh, like oh, a tiny yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. It's like on the back it is, but I mean again, it's it doesn't really matter because you'd probably never be able to see that anyway, but yeah. Um, but it's kind of like just getting something in so you like see the image more complete. And then once it's all in and it's all to this kind of level of detail, I can then go in, get it into Unreal, have a look at the lighting, break the scene up into assets, see what I actually can keep and what I can um, what I need to rework and then kind of make a list and just blast through that list as fast as possible um, yeah so like with any luck um, the buildings the piping um, the signs uh, the walkways um, they'll all be really fast to complete just because I don't have to tweak that much of them, I just need to do the materials. But then the dumpster and the network access and the bank machines, um, the, the, the debris, the burnt out car, um, they're going to be a bit trickier because they're individual pieces and that's where I can spend the time, some more time, if I have more time, doing the detailing of that and working them out properly. Um, it's not really big, because you won't see it. Yeah, precisely what I said, yeah. Um, hopefully, um, Sasha, if you keep coming back and seeing me work over time on this, um, you'll get a really good idea of how, like production for an environment um, and kind of what you can kind of cut corners on and what you kind of, you, you do have to go, go in in detail. Uh, so there's a slight, so the sill is on the inside. Thank you. 
I'm assuming there's a sill on the bottom as well. Now at the moment this is too tall, I think. Now I'll need to check this but for New York buildings, but I think the sill's quite close because the idea is that you clamber out onto the walkway in case of emergency. So let's just move this down. And then maybe it's a bit thinner as well. I'll tell you what would be good at this point is to get that cylinder in. Sorry, this cylinder. Because the window at the top of the, the sill is taller than this. But that's just probably in the gap between these two. Um, are there any signs in? Um, well, it's in the future. So it could be... I mean, I know that Helio used um, New York City as his reference, what some of his reference for the types of buildings. Um, but in the future, it could be just an amalgamation of languages. Um, I quite like the mix up. So if it's higher than this, so maybe it's something like that, maybe a bit taller compared to a human, so a human could get out of that. Maybe it's thinner. Yeah, I kind of have a feeling it's a little thinner. Something like that, perhaps. Loop, copy, paste. So again, another, okay, I mean, I could be well wrong when I actually look at the reference, but another sneaky detail, there's a little bit of a line in around the window, at least on the sides, but we'll put it on both. It needs to be a bit more obvious than that. And it needs to be something like that. I'm actually really enjoying, you know, checking the scale and modeling it and checking it again and doing all that. Um, yes, stereotypical sci-fi. <laughs> right, so now the frame.
Let's come on, I'll do that. Need to work the bottom, but at least the top looks all right. is more rectangular than it is square. So Maybe that's a bit overkill. 